Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Hey, good evening everyone. It's Mike, as you can see, back at it, right outside of the theater here in Torrance, California. And I just got done seeing two movies today. It is currently August 11th, 2022. It's about to be August 12th. And I saw two films today that, unbeknownst to me without realizing it, are named after seasons. The first film I saw that I'm about to talk to you guys today is called Summering. The one I saw after that was Fall. But let's first now talk about Summering. This was a movie that, from what the trailers showed, these young girls being able to take steps backwards to turn back time or something like that, and yet they discover something. I mean, it's it, it, it was one of those trailers, I think I only saw it once. I think I saw it when I saw the Downton Abbey movie, and I haven't seen the trailer since. But it was one of those films that came up because, as you guys know, with my A-list membership, I get three movies a week. I had already seen Bodies, Bodies, Bodies the other day, and I'd seen everything else. So Thursday, movies that are supposed to be coming out tomorrow, August 12th, they're out today, so hell with it. So, where do I begin with summering? The movie is actually about these four young girls in this small town in Utah who are nervous because they're just about to be on their way to middle school. They're leaving elementary school, and they have this little spot that they call Terabithia, which I'm assuming is based off of the bridge to Terabithia. And it's kind of secluded out in this little spot where there's a tree that they put a lot of remembrances, kind of like a secret club sort of a thing. I mean, we all did that as kids growing up, at least where I did in Florida. And anyway, they happen to come across a dead body of all things. I know, very stand by me. Um, when they come across the dead body, rather than do the smart thing, which would be to call the police, which is even funnier because one of the kids in the film, her mom is a police officer, they decide to cover it up and not tell anybody about it. But then they decide they wanna go sleuthing around the town and ask if they knew who this person was because they couldn't verify their identity while at the same time they're feeling alienated by their parents, but yet they're keeping this a secret and they're feeling like they're gonna grow apart because they're getting older. And honestly, the movie just, it's an absolute mess. And it even has this whole thriller, spooky ghost element. Like there's moments where they think that they're seeing the ghost of this guy that was, you know, found dead. And then they're even questioning, was he even a real person to begin with? Were they making it up in their minds? It's, the movie's awful. <laughs> I mean, it really does have such an uneven tone if it's a drama, if it's a suspense horror movie. The, the kids even do a seance for God's sakes, but the performances, they feel so awful. The dialogue is just like eye-rollingly bad. And the movie is only 85 minutes long but it feels like it's two hours and 25 minutes long. I kept checking my phone every 15 minutes, like, is this over yet? I'm like, I could not believe it. I was not the only one in the theater. There was three other people. I mean, it was just a dull, dull film. I mean, if you look at the poster and you look at the trailer, it looks so much more interesting. And I was shocked, by the way, when the movie completely ended, it showed the rating. It was PG-13. I was really shocked. I'm like, this was PG-13? I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It, it could have easily been rated PG. A strong PG, but this is a very mild PG-13, that's for sure. 
and it was written, produced, and directed by the same guy who did the film The Spectacular Now, which I haven't seen. I believe his name's his name is James Holden's Bolt, something like that. It was in cursive, and the title was so fleeting. I was just so disinterested. Forgive me, but um, yeah, I I expected more from this film. All things considered, especially with summer now coming to a close and kids are now going back to school, this felt like a good film to cap off with such a thing. And instead, what I got was just a dull, silly, predictable, easily could have been fixed kind of a movie. I mean, I get that these are four girls and they're all trying to feel some kind of way because we all worry about growing apart. We all worry about where the future is going to take us. These are very good questions to have. And I thought we would have gotten something like that because the film starts out very solidly. And I was really believing the chemistry at first, but then once they decide that they find a dead body and they don't want to tell the police, and even the way the parents act in the movie, it feels so, it feels so disconnected that I just, I don't know. It just, it, it just didn't feel right. The whole, the whole tone, everything, it just, this was not my kind of film, that's for sure. I'm very sorry to say. And with that being said, I'm going to give Summering a D-. I give it not an F, I give it a D because at least the chemistry is decent enough amongst the four girls. They do good enough with what they're given, but it gets the below average grade just because the film can't seem to find its rhythm. It doesn't know what kind of movie it wants to be. It's all over the place, and I really don't wish to see it again. I'm very sorry. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching my review today of Summering. It's in theaters tomorrow, as well as today, but obviously by the time you guys are watching this, it's already August 12th, so it's in theaters this weekend. Go check it out if you really have nothing else better to do. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching my review. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to check out my next review for the movie Fall. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys take care, be well, and I'll see you at the movies. Bye now.